Hey, hi, your things. Pastor Wolf Mueller here with Three Minute Parables, my favorite parable, the parable of the prodigal son, which needs a lot more than three minutes. But here's the basic idea. There are three slaveries into which we can find ourselves and from which Jesus wants to free us. Number one, there's the slavery to sin. Jesus says, whoever commits a sin is a slave to sin. And in the parable, this is the prodigal son who says to his father, I wish you were dead. Give me the inheritance. He goes and he spends it all in reckless living doing whatever he wants, and he then falls into destitution. He's feeding the pigs. He wants to eat the slop. He's just as low as can be. That is the slavery of, to, of sin, and everybody, even the philosophers, know that you can't just do what you want. That's a, a way to death. But then he, it says he came to himself. He realized his, his father's hired servants had it better than him, and this is the, the, the second slavery, and that's the slavery to despair. The slavery of thinking that we have to be God's slaves and not his sons. So he comes up with a speech and he says, Father, I'm not worthy to be your son. Make me as one of your hired servants. It's not the Greek word doulos, a slave or servant who would live in the house, but mystos. It's the worker that can't even live under the same roof. The day laborer. I'm not even worthy to be part of the family, part of the home. And, and so he has this rehearsed speech. But when the father sees him, he runs from a distance and he grabs a hold of him. And the son starts his slavery of despair speech. Father, I'm not worthy to be called your son. But the father cuts him off and he gets him the ring and the shoes and the robe and he kills the fatted calf. My son, who was lost, has been found. The Lord won't have that slavery of despair. But then there's a third slavery. This is why Jesus tells the parable. It's the trickiest. It's the slavery of pride. I've done enough. I've earned God's love. It's the older brother. He's out in the field. He hears the party. He hears why they're partying, and he starts to pout. And the father comes out to him, and listen closely to what he says. He says, all these years I have served you. I've slaved for you. You never gave me a goat to make merry with my friends. The older son also thought that he was the father's slave. And the father says, son, everything I have is yours. It was right that we should make merry, for your son was dead and as alive as lost and is found. So these three slaveries, the slavery to sin, the slavery to despair, the slavery to pride, are all forbidden by that one word, son, child. The Lord calls you to be his son or his daughter. Behold what manner of love the Father has given unto us, that we should be called the children of God, not slaves, but children, blessed and inheriting his kingdom. That's what Jesus has won for us by his death on the cross. So God be praised that the Father embraces us and has us in his family. Did we do good? Is that, is that okay? If, if you liked that, hit the button that says that you like that. Maybe even subscribe to see more of these. Even give, help us fund this mission of making known the gifts of Christ Jesus to youth and young adults. If you like this video, check out our website, higherthings.org, and check out more content from Higher Things.